me. <gasps> oh no. Inspector Granger arrived at about nine. He was a tall man with a big black moustache. Amanda, Barbara, Claudia and Gordon were in the living room. The inspector came in. Mr Travers died between midnight last night and seven o'clock this morning, he said. Somebody in this room killed him. He looked at them one by one, but nobody spoke. Mrs Travers, I want to talk to you first. Come into the library with me, please. Amanda Travers followed the inspector into the library and they sat down. What did your husband do after dinner last night? When we finished dinner, Jeremy said he was tired and he went to bed. Did you go to bed then? No, I didn't. I went for a walk in the garden. What time did you go to bed? About quarter to twelve. Was your husband asleep? I don't know, Inspector. We... we slept in separate rooms. Did you hear anything when you were in your room? Yes, I heard Jeremy's bedroom door. It opened. I thought it was Jeremy. Then it closed again. I read in bed for half an hour and then I went to sleep. Hmm. What time did you get up this morning? I got up at about 7.15. I had breakfast and at 8 o'clock I took my husband a cup of tea. I found him in bed. He was... dead. Tell me, Mrs Travers, did you love your husband? Jeremy is... <sighs> was a difficult man. But did you love him, Mrs Travers? No, Inspector. I hated him. Then the Inspector questioned Barbara Travers. What did you do after dinner yesterday evening? After dinner? I, I played cards with Gordon, and then I went to bed. What time was that? It was about half past eleven. I, I remember I, I looked at my watch. Did you hear anything in your father's room? No, I didn't hear anything. Did you have any problems with your father? No, no problems at all. My father was a wonderful man and a perfect father. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Travers. Next, the inspector questioned Gordon Smith. What did you do after dinner, Gordon? I played cards with Barbara. Then she went to bed. Did you go to bed then? No. I stayed in the sitting room and I had a glass of whiskey. Then I went to bed. What time was that? I don't remember exactly. I didn't look at the time. Did you hear anything during the night? No, I didn't. I was very tired. I slept very well. You and Mr Travers were business partners, weren't you? Yes, that's right. And it's a very good business, I understand. Yes, Inspector. It is. And now it is your business. Listen, Inspector. I did not kill Jeremy. He was my partner and he was my friend. Finally, the Inspector questioned Claudia Simeone. What did you do yesterday evening after dinner? I went to my room and I had a bath and I went to bed. What time was that? About 11. Did you hear anything? Yes. I heard somebody go into Jeremy's room. It was about 12. Who was it? It was Amanda, his wife. Are you sure? Did you see her? Well, no, I didn't see her, but I'm sure it was Amanda. You were Mr Travers' secretary, Claudia. Yes, I was. Were you just his secretary? What do you mean? Were you in love with Mr Travers? No, I wasn't. The truth, please, Claudia. Very well, Inspector. Yes, I was in love with him, and he said he was in love with me. He said he wanted to leave his wife, Amanda, and marry me. I was stupid. 
I believed him. He used me, Inspector. I was very angry with him. Did you kill him? No, Inspector. I loved Jeremy. Before dinner, Gordon had a drink with Jeremy in the library. Cheers, Jeremy. Happy birthday. Oh, thanks, Gordon. Listen, Jeremy, I want to talk to you about Barbara. Barbara? What's the problem? Well, it's not exactly a problem. I am in love with her, and I want to marry her. Marry Barbara? Marry my daughter? Are you crazy? Never! You don't love Barbara. You only want her money. That's not true, Jeremy. I love her. Listen to me. If you marry Barbara, when I die, all my money goes to Claudia. To Claudia? To your secretary? Yes. Is that your last word, Jeremy? Yes, it is. Dinner, everybody. At midnight, Gordon finished his whiskey and went upstairs. Who is it? Gordon? Oh! Oh! 